Hello, so we're going to teach you today how to do an e-transfer or an email money transfer using your bank. The example I'm going to use will be TD Bank, however, the process is pretty much the same no matter what bank you go to. In the future, however, I will post videos specifically with each bank. The challenge is I have to have an account with each bank, so we're doing mine right now for simplicity's sake. And you're also going to see things in this video that are blurred out. Don't be concerned with that. That's my private information that I'm keeping restricted so you don't see what's in my bank account, names of people, things like that. So that's the only reason why parts of the screen will look blurry. First thing we need to do is we need to go to the bank online. So I'm going to go to tdcanadatrust.ca and it's already there. Now, if you don't have online banking, you have to do that first. So you have to set yourself up with online banking. That's going to be a separate video eventually. But, you know, find somebody that you know that has online banking to help you set it up. You'll need an email address and you'll need some of your personal information ready for that. So I'm going to assume you already are with online banking and I'm just going to log in. So that's what you need to do too. just log into your uh, to your account and I already have my username or access card uh, and password already set up there you might need to type yours in so go ahead and do that I'm just going to log in so it's going to display your account in all of your information first and foremost uh, on the TD website there is my accounts, contacts, products and services, markets and research, it goes on and on so you want to be on the first tab accounts, my accounts uh, but that's normally where it takes you to right away. Now, if you look down into roughly the middle of the page over to the left, you'll see Interact e-transfers. That's what you'll want to click on. Now, you could also go to My Accounts, wave your mouse over My Accounts, and you can go to Interact e-transfers that way and just left click or click on the trackpad. So we're going to go straight there and you are about to do an email money transfer. So uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to actually choose which account the money is gonna come from. That's very, very important. I know for a fact that it costs me more if I take money out of my savings account than my checkings account. So I often take the money out of my checking account. So I'm just going to uh, click once, left mouse click or trackpad once on the down arrow under choose your account and I'm just going to choose my checking account and now you need to add the person if you don't have the person in your contacts and if you say well Joshua I don't know if I do or not chances are you don't uh, so just click add new and you type in their information John Smith if they if you want another language other than English you can just click the down arrow here uh, for French I guess is your only option and then you just type in johnsmith at gmail.com. So it's their email address that they want here. So the person whose money you're sending it to, type their name in the name box, their email in the email box, and then they'll want you to type their email again, johnsmith at gmail.com. It is very important that you type the email in the exact way that they sent it to you in both boxes. If it's not exact, there will be a problem. So take your time, write that down. Then just left click using your mouse or if you're using your trackpad, just click down on, on the add button. And there you go, the ad was uh, set up. So John Smith now is now in sort of my contacts list. Now all I need to do is send money and I just click left click or use my trackpad and click on send money and you can see that and I double check to make sure it's coming from my checking account which it is now I'm going to enter in the number let's say I'm going to send John Smith um, five dollars you can just type in five and it'll figure out that it's five dollars um, I think the limit is about a hundred thousand dollars but be very careful and make sure you're adding in the exact right amount of money and now, so you see here that the recipient is John Smith. You can also click the arrow here and choose any one of your contacts. You can see I have a lot of contacts here. I've sent money to people, I've received money from people. Um, so you can, you can choose anyone here and change the name of the person you're sending the money to, um, well, the name and the email address of the person. 
I'm going to keep it as John Smith and we're going to go down to security and now you have to put in a security question that they will know the answer to. Off, it can be anything you want and just make sure that the other person, the person you're sending money to knows the password. So I'm going to say for example, do you have a cat? And John Smith will say yes. And then I confirm the answer is yes. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Uh, you can put in any question. It can't be very long. Uh, I think they have a word limit. So make it a very simple question. And uh, if you want to increase the security, you could say something like, what number did I send you? And then in the answer, you can create a number like 5677658. And then make sure it's the exact same number, 5 five six seven seven six five eight and if you have a personal message you want to send uh, you want to add to this you can do it here and for example if I was sending him five dollars because he bought me a you know something at the grocery store I would put in grocery store pay back you know just for your own records when you're done with all of that just scroll down to the bottom of the page and click next and you see now it has a confirmation page and it says, you know, verify this information. So look over your information. It's coming from my checking account. Uh, it's going to be $5. I'm sending it to this person. And, and then you just click send money. I won't do it right now because I don't want to send my friend money. Uh, but then it'll give you a confirmation page. And that's all you have to do. What will end up happening is that person will receive an email within about 20 to 30 minutes oftentimes it's a lot faster than that these days but if you don't receive an if the other person doesn't receive an email with the money transfer within about an hour contact them but it should take less than 30 minutes before they receive it and that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much about it now if they didn't receive it before you contact TD and you try to figure out what's going on ask them to check this their spam in their email because sometimes interact e-transfers get sent to the spam so make sure that they check that and that's the entire process I hope you enjoy and I look forward to teaching you new things as we move along have a great week